speaking with Vidal Davis, producer, songwriter, musician from Philadelphia, other half of Dre and Vidal Productions. Um, I got my start, you know, basically playing drums. Drums is my main instrument, you know. I grew up playing in church, playing for a lot of different choirs, groups, you know, and then traveling the world, playing for different bands and sort, you know, and a lot of great musicians doing studio sessions like that. So, you know, that's, that's pretty much where I started at. And we met. Well, we had, uh, to make a long story short, we had family members that played in the wine band together. So they would, you know, we would see each other through that and just different gigs in the city we would always end up being at. So I was like, damn, that's that boy right there. He'd be like, yo, that's that boy right there. So it just went from that and we just started linking as teenagers and just making music together and traveling. Man, you mentioned that your, your drum, drums are your fit ear where you started mm -hmm. and the drums, I've stolen the drums on that first Joe Scott album, Smith Beats. <laughs> How do you get them to sound so thick and just, you know what I'm talking yeah, about. I mean, basically, I, I listen to a lot of old records. So, you know, they, it starts there, you know, just, I've been playing drums basically all my life since, say, since out of the womb, you know, I just, I never got lessons. I just taught myself and basically uh, later on in, in, in down the years, I, I got lessons on how to read and sight read music. That got boring to me. I mean, I still know how to do it, but I really wanted to just create from what I felt. So I would just listen to old songs and I have a whole bunch of drum parts. And sometimes I would have two kits. I would have so many spare parts that I could put together two kits. So I would listen to records and try to tune the drums, like how that album sounded. Man, I wonder how, especially with Motown and Game of Health, like the drum sounds they were getting, it was just like, man, how did they get that? And knowing now, it was based on the rooms, you know, some of the mics they used, we didn't have, but you try to get it as close as you can to that. And you know, that's, you know, if you spend time getting a good drum sound, once you keep it there, it's gonna be there. So, you know, that's a part of why the drums become so good because I'm a drummer and I really, you know, like them sounding very warm and thick. Well, you mentioned earlier that you don't need a big studio, but I've spoken to some producers who say, like, like High Tech said, I run notes through a knee and that's how I get my drums so warm. But oh, I, yeah. if, I, if I'm home on Fruity Loops, how am I even coming close to getting those drums to sound that good? I, I mean, let me tell you the sense. I, I, I stopped using an MP maybe for me about Wow, about six, seven years ago, right? So you know with the MPC 3000, 2000, 4000 or whatever, you gotta have your outputs to go to the board, the channels, you know, to warm it up. But like I said, technology now, I haven't used none of that stuff to run my drums through. It's just knowing how to put the sounds together and you know, getting it done. Like a lot of the stuff I cut now, I haven't cut through no need console or nothing like that. I just have a decent mic pre, a nice good mic that I paid money for and a compressor and you know it's going right into the, the uh, digital converter so my my advice to keep it warm to cats is just at least have some kind of analog hitting the signal before it goes into digital so it won't be too thinned out but they have plugins that can warm stuff up so it's just I you know I'll cut anywhere I'll figure out I'll, I'll use what I got to get what I want <laughs> basically That's you know so. like, like like just go back to Jill's album I cut a lot of that stuff with, I basically cut her whole album with a, a Mackie 28, 24-8 bus. My drums and vocals, I had a good compressor back then, Jazzy Jeff. Had a lot of old, um, you know, analog gear in the studio, so I used his compressors and mic pre's, and that's how I learned how to use the real high-end stuff. And that's pretty much it, man. You know, as long as you can use whatever you got to get what you want, you can get a band sound. Nobody will not know. Oh, I cut that in the SSL. Nah. You know, it's, uh, you know, the artist Drake, he has incredible sounds. You know, his production team and him, they, their combination together. And, you know, the stories I hear, like, they cut everything right there in the laptop, mix it on the bus. And that's how I do. You know? Yeah. Yeah, 40 told me he uses Expand for a lot of his stuff. Yeah. I use Waves plugins. Uh, a lot of LA2, you know, just a lot. The plugins I use are mostly the outboard gear that I have or that I have and I don't use that much, but it's pretty, that's pretty much all it is.